Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is actually going to be part two of my thread up 50 pound unboxings. Um, I already have part one up so if you're interested i'll link it somewhere up in the corner for you i highly suggest you go check it out before you check this one out um just because we're kind of comparing the two to see which one was better uh so basically i am sorry try to keep that stuck down uh i purchased two 50 pound thread up mixed clothing boxes i think it was st patrick's day they were having 35% off something ridiculous that's the only time i'll get rescue boxes because it's you you don't really know what you're gonna get and so i don't want to spend 140 dollars uh for potential crap you know so i'd much rather spend 100 i think it was 117 dollars this one the other one was 115 because i had some credits so this one was just a wee bit cheaper or a wee bit more expensive because i used my credits for the last one um but let's just get started this box actually did come from mechanicsburg pennsylvania which is very interesting because i live in arizona so typically a lot of these boxes will come from phoenix arizona um so i'm assuming that's why it took forever to get here <laughs> and it arrived today and I immediately kind of like rolled it into this uh into this room to get started so let's jump into it and first I should say hi my name is Catherine I'm a beauty and reselling enthusiast and that's the things that I like to talk about on this channel so if that is something that interests you please consider subscribing now we will get into it <laughs> So what I'm going to be doing with these items, because you definitely get more than 50 items. I mean, it's 50 pounds. So I think my last box, I got 83 items and it came down to $1.39 per item. So this is a lot of, a lot of stuff. So what I will do is I will select the very best pieces that I want to resell myself or just have interest in reselling it. And then the other items I will take to buy, sell trade stores to see if I can offload a lot of those items and hopefully recoup a lot of my money, if not all my money, before I even list the good stuff. Um, so let's let's get started. So the first item being H&M and it's kind of this leopard button down kind of satiny feel. And with these boxes, you really don't know what condition it's gonna be in. I mean, you would hope that it's in good sellable condition um, because these are um, thread up rejects you know things thread up didn't want to sell that people didn't reclaim or didn't have sent back to them these are unreclaimed items so they kind of come from a variety of of places uh but this is h&m size us 10 so i think i'm gonna that will be my first buy sell trade store please or item i should say let's see looks like this is a little bit of a halter Ooh, okay all right, so that is nice. We got some free people right there. So that is always a good start. This is a size medium, so that's a great size for free people. And my concern is, is that this is very beaded. So I'm wondering if it's missing some beads, but it does look to be like a crop top, halter neck top. This is gonna be beautiful for like upcoming festival season. I mean, it looks like there are, there is one particular area that it might be like missing some beads right there, but because of the design of it, like it's kind of hard to tell. Like you really have to be up close and personal to realize that there's some missing beads. Um, so I'm going to actually hold that off for myself to potentially resell. Sometimes these items, I'll hold them off just to do some research on it too and just decide if it is worth reselling. Um, but that one I probably will resell myself. Oh, this, this bang right here. We're having, we're having a day. All right, so this is a really great find too. This is Talbot's, although it's petites, it is pure cashmere. And it's a really beautiful color. It's kind of that like, what is it? The cerulean blue from um, Devil Wears Prada, if you're familiar with that. The, the one thing about cashmere is you do have to be really careful is because there's typically a hole in it. Like any wool or cashmere or something, there's, you know, moths do like to burrow in there, but I'm not seeing anything right off the bat. I am seeing some pilling, but that's super easy to, um, to get rid of. And cashmere sells really well. So I will hold that off for me to sell too. So we're we're off to a good start. I will, I'm gonna curb my enthusiasm, not get too, not get too excited. 
Um, so the next item is this Liz Claiborne extra large blouse, kind of this like nautical plaid rope print that will go off to buy, sell, trade. What do we have here? We have some, I see a swimwear. I see a, oh, that's a top as well. Okay. So this is just the triangular bikini top. This from Billabong right there. The only concern is that it doesn't have a size. So the buy sell trade store may take this, they may not, but I'm gonna hold this off to the side just to see if this is like, for some reason, a really coveted piece from Billabong. Uh, you never really know. This next one, I'm assuming probably from the same person, I could probably just uh, put the size on top of it or put this on top of the other one to guess the size. But this is, um, this is just from Mossimo. It was just a triangular bikini top size small. Um, that one will go to buy, sell, trade store. We have some plaid in here. Good old, old navy. This is the tunic shirt. So it's a little bit longer button down top. We have this pink, blue, navy type of type of look. Oh, it does have like a little striped, or uh, striped, has a, um, a tie in the back to kind of like give the waistline a little bit of dimension. That will go to buy, sell, trade store. We have something with a, um, <sighs> I'm totally blanking. Um, what is this clip called? Okay, it's not even worth it. Oh, there, here we go. What is this, clothespin? Not a clothespin. Safety pin. Whew, that was concerning. Okay, so it looks like the brand was take the brand tag was taken out right there. It doesn't feel like it's this super quality piece, so it's a blazer, like an army green open front laser see a content tag was taken out so and maybe it's the safety pin was to add shoulder pads to it because those don't seem like it would be part of it i don't know but that's gonna go to a buy sell trade store we have this another army green uh piece this adidas racerback um sports bra. Wow. Words are just not flowing today, huh? Um, I'm not seeing a size right off the bat. I see. So I don't know if Adidas does the same thing as Lululemon where they have these like little notches to indicate size. Hmm. I will, what do I want to do? I will probably take this to the buy sell trade store first just to hopefully unload it um, but if not I will sell it myself. We have another cute little bikini top which tis the season right we are in we're starting to get into bikini weather. Um, this is time and true so it, it is just a Walmart brand but it kind of is that like long line bikini you know where like the sports bras that are a little bit more cropped you know they come down a little bit further that's what this reminds me of really cute like little notch neck in there so that will go to a buy sell trade store these feel like terrible quality what are they they're leggings of a they have like a, a um skyline print to them i don't know what the skyline is but they feel absolutely terrible oh is that the cry is that the chrysler building in new york maybe um no brands so those are going to the buy sell trade store do you see something with a tag on it let's see fee you fashion so most likely it's going to be an amazon brand or something like that amazon boutique but it is this like sweater that can't decide if it wants to be fancy or just regular mock neck sweater it is a size i don't know 
<laughs> I'm not gonna keep it. Uh, let's see. This is Liz Claiborne Career Wear, size large, kind of this thicker ponty knit um, blouse. That's actually really cute. Kind of a boxy blouse with some a little bit of stretch to it, some exposed zipper on the back. This, I don't know, this fit me. I don't know, it feels kind of big for a large, so I'm gonna try that on because I like that type of, I like basic black shirts. <laughs> All right, this is new with Tag, but it is a kid's item. So Cat and Jack is Target's in-house brand for kids. But it is a extra, long, uh, extra large like raglan baseball tee. So that will go to I Sell Trade. This feels of kind of quality. I'm already looking to see if there's a Lululemon tag on there. I'm not seeing it, but it is Athleta, so that's great. So we have Athleta size large, kind of this like almost sweatshirt long sleeve with this perforated design on it. That's really nice, okay. I think I'm gonna keep that for, to sell myself. Um, This is a recent one as well. So it has on the content tag, if you flip it over, sometimes it's like a separate content tag. It will show you um, the season that it was made for. It also has these um, um, <laughs> style number on it. So you can look it up to get more information. But that is definitely something that I will keep for myself to resell. So let's hope for more of that. Okay, here's another good piece. G Crew, size eight, kind of this mauve, like boat neck sweater almost. Same thing with J. Crew. Um, they should have like a content tag with the season on it. So this is merino wool and a cotton blend. And this is from holiday um, 2017. It also has the style number in there. So Again, I can look it up and just kind of get more details about it. Thing about wool, sometimes you have to be careful, like they get str or they they shrink. Um, this one doesn't feel shrunk. Like wool will have kind of like a tight feeling to it, um, almost crunchy. So did I say this was a size eight? It's actually a size small. Whoops. So I will actually keep that for myself. This also looks. I'm gonna guess J. Crewish feels J. Crewish. Loft. Okay. I was close. All right, so Ann Taylor Life loft size zero. Kind of this textured striped blazer. That's really cute, actually. That is really cute. I forget if Ann Taylor has their, it does have an ID number, but it looks like all the other stuff was cut out. It is a cotton nylon mix. Oh, I want to do that. I probably will sell that myself just because the buy sell trade stores that I have around here are definitely geared more towards um, teenagers, young 20 somethings. Um, you know, basically we have Buffalo Exchange. We actually have the original Buffalo Exchange here, the first one that was ever built. Um, we have play multiple Play-Doh's closets. Um, and that's pretty much all I, shop, uh, I sell at because all the other ones are either way too far or they close down. Um, so this is old Banana Republic. Oh, so my point is, is that if this is career wear stuff, um, and if it's cute enough, I, or stylish enough, I will list it myself. If not, actually somebody in the other video had a really great idea of, um, uh, donating it to like a women's shelter for people who are getting back into the careers and need like interview outfits and stuff like that. So I will make sure I pick out some good items that are, um, you know, in good condition to, to do that. I think that's a great idea. Okay, Old Banana Republic, size six, kind of this striped blouse. Is it silk? It feels kind of silky. 100% silk. This is old, so this is fall 2012. It's just over 10 years old. Oh, I didn't even notice. It has these gold little details right there. What do I want to do with this? most likely I'll probably try to sell that myself that that may change though that that thought may change all right what do we have counterparts 
why do I feel like that's like a Macy's or a Dillard's type of brand, correct me if I'm wrong, counterpart size small, but it's this kind of like um, button down stretch tunic with like wooden buttons. Hmm. I have to do more research on that as well. Cause I don't know, I, I feel like I know the brand, but I don't know the brand. So I will put that in my research pile. Okay, we have another Banana Republic. This is actually Banana Republic Factory and we know that because of the three dots. So usually the factories will have some sort of three dots, two dots, something noting that it's not from uh, the main Banana Republic. This is a super cute like little diamond print fit and flare dress with a racer back with the adjustable straps. Let's see. This is from spring 2016. Uh, I feel like I sell trade stores, might like that. And if not, I will sell that myself. We have something long and green, L Love. It's probably uh, like Amazon brand or something, but it is a surplus neckline, flutter sleeves, maxi dress with the slit on the bottom looks like it's lined. So I will send that to the Vicel Trade Store. What is this? I feel like it's another of those leggings that had this uh, cityscape on it, but these are like half mermaid or fish scales. They're very shiny. Those will be going to Vicel Trade. We have a little bit of a sweater of this. What is this? What is this? Is this, oh, is this like a dicky where you can, Ooh. <sighs> okay, I will take that. Hopefully this pays for everything. This is Veronica Beard. This is one size. Veronica Beard is a really expensive brand. This is 100% wool. So what this is, is I believe you can put it on, um, it's like called a dicky or something where you can put it on the, the front of something and it, it like makes it look like a sweater. I don't know. It just adds to it. Um, so that is fantastic. Am I, but I feel like I'm missing. Okay. Cause this, this is this zippers right here. So there's extra zippers. Why, why are there extra zippers? Why, let me, does the zipper to itself? Why would it do that? Hold on. I'm trying to figure this out. Why would it zipper to itself? Then it would just make a... Okay, I don't want to break it. I don't want to break it. I feel like I'm going to break it. Um, okay, so I will definitely have to do some more research on this, but I have never found this brand before in... I would consider this the wild. I mean, this is a random ass box that's being sent to me. Um, so I would consider that in the wild. So I've never found that. I've never found Veronica Beard in the wild before. So I'm very excited. Hopefully let's put some good mojo on this box for more of that. Okay, so this isn't more of that, but it's still good stuff. <laughs> so this is again, another loft. This is for petite, very cute black ponty knit fit and flare dress. Again, that's kind of, but this could also be Although it's very career wearish, I feel like buy sell trade stores like you know a little black dress might like it, so I will put it over there. I can already tell you these are Old Navy. These are the Elevate legging. That's the Old Navy Actiwear line brand thing. Looks like they have the stash pockets. They have a little bit of um like the mesh so your skin peeks through. The only thing, and they look to be capri length or maybe a little bit longer than capri but i don't know what size they are hmm. they look probably a medium or large but i'm gonna send those to buy sell trade store this feels nice calvin klein okay calvin klein dress kind of this like 
almost camo leopard, if you will. Like again, very thick knit knee length sheath dress, exposed zipper. This is a size four. What do we want to do with this? I doubt that they would take that. So I'll put it in my pile. We have something very, very polka dotty, very yellow and polka dotty. What is it? Okay. I don't know what it is, but it is, there, is it handmade? I don't know. It might be handmade, but it's this kind of like, like shirt dress, like very retro type of shirt dress, fit and flare comes with a matching belt to it so this kind of style does really well for my client uh my closet it's about to say my clients um my closet because I, I just noticed a lot of people really love this like retro style myself included um oh it looks like these little pieces flap down and it's like a little lapel so this i will probably keep because they do well in my closet so i will keep that we have something new at tags let's see style made with love noonday collection it says thank you for, for uh, thank you for joining us and building a world uh, women are empowered children are cherished people have jobs we are connected so this was made by some uh, Rima it's a size one zero or six eight I'm a little bit confused on the sizing but it is like a Kind of just a uh, geometric kaleidoscope type of blouse. I will have to do more research on that and see because I've never heard of this brand before. Noonstay Collection. Let me know if you've heard of it. It sounds like it's obviously something that's handmade. 100% rayon made in India. So that will go in my research pile. Again, another brand I've never heard of before. Relativity, size large. Almost looks like this very, very blue <laughs> denim jacket. Never heard of Relativity before. Let's see, looking for some content information. Well, so this kind of feels a little bit promising because it has the electric magnetic thing in there so you're supposed to cut that off uh before you wear it so typically i would say lower end clothing will not have that um so it makes me think that it might be something so again we'll put it off to the side so i have to say we're probably a third of the way done and i'm a lot more excited than i was in my last box <laughs> things look a little bit better i have less items in my buy sell trade store pile than I do to list myself which I don't know if that's a great thing because <laughs> it makes me that makes me know I have that much more work I have to do um so I guess that's how you look at it okay this is great this is theory and this is their newer tag size 10 so again a career wear sheath dress with a belt included um I think it's navy it's probably there's probably some wool in it this I bet you anything retailed for three to four hundred dollars if I had to guess see yeah virgin wool with some elastane in it um, this is the Valle B Savona dress so I'm looking at the content tag and they have the name in it. So that I will sell myself. I could probably get being very conservative, maybe like 40 bucks for it. So that's great. Oh my gosh, my hair. I'm sorry. My hair is just annoying me today. I literally like got done working out and then the box was delivered and I was like, I need to film this today. So we're in shambles. All right. So what is this? LC by Lauren Conrad. This is Kohl's, like a little cold shoulder boho top with a ruffle, a little thing on it. This I actually think might do well at Buffalo Exchange. They were telling me like uh, bringing in pieces that kind of had some embellishment to it, um, like little ruffles like that. So hopefully that will do well there. 
This feels very White House Black Market-ish. You sure did. I said that very funny. White House Black Market, size six, little bustier, probably silk top. Might have had a matching uh, skirt to it or something like that. I have no interest in reselling this, so I will send it off to you for me. Not you for me. That's makeup. <laughs> send it off to buy, sell, trade stores. Uh, what is this? Express Factory. So again, we have those two little dots right there saying it's factory. Looks like it's raining outside. Um, size extra small. Oh, it's a top. I thought it was a skirt. Okay, it's a top. So it's off the shoulder top uh, with little bows on the side, floral prints. I think that'd be perfect for a buy, sell, trade store, but you know, I'm not the one choosing things to sell there. All right, another White House Black Market, little top size six. This one has a one strap to it which I might because I don't think it has the other strap so I probably will just unhook it and just say it's a crop top or not a crop top strapless top that will go to my sole trade store we have something with tags on it that retailed for $42 this is Jones New York sport really pretty kind of ribbed scoop neck activewear top coming more minty on camera but in person it looks more on the blue side than the minty side that will go to buy sell trade we have uh bcbg max azria which i believe is their higher end of bcbg but that doesn't really mean much they, they don't it doesn't sell for that much anymore um just this like little camisole with ruffled tiered details what size is it size extra extra small okay so that's definitely going to the buy sell trade store i have a really hard time selling extra extra smalls we got some forever 21 it's actually the first time we've had forever 21 in this box so that's pretty amazing because the other box is riddled with it um these are actually i think the buy sell trade store would really love these these are like cargo joggers in this like light sage army green color. They're size small, so that would be great if they took those. We have, had to be careful, it's a swimsuit, wasn't sure which end. Um, a very, very small little bikini top and this pretty floral print and a brand called Koana Swim. Koana Swim, I've never heard of that before, but again, a size small so I bet you anything that billabong um top is probably a size small as well so I will put that in my research pile to look it up because who knows maybe it's gold I feel like I've seen this brand before but I, I can't remember is it Yoss Voss Yoss it's a size extra large it's just like open knit sweater with just like puffy sleeves I actually might keep this for myself unless it retails for a whole lot of money. It's kind of fun, but I will do more research on it. Let's see. I think it's Yoss. It is the Yoss Dahlia long sleeve knit pullover made in Turkey. Makes me think it's probably a more high-end thing because it does have like a website and all that kind of stuff. So I will look into that myself. Let's see, we got some like palm print, babo. I feel like I see this a lot at TJ Maxx, it's kind of off the shoulder, little dress with the, I don't know, ruffle quarter sleeves, little sh uh, shift dress that will go to, buy sell trade that's probably like a perfect vacation dress if you're going somewhere tropical just really light and loose and easy to put on all right I see oh okay I see some embroidery we have some Madewell this is perfect for spring as well we got some nice embroidered 
top with the tassels, balloon sleeves. Beautiful. Okay. This is spring 17. Um, but I still think this is very, very relevant. So I will sell that myself. I see something tie dye. And I, what the heck is this? Change? What is that? I've never heard of that before. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta get it all in the right, the right way. So it does have like a little tiny hole. I'm seeing, you can't see that. Um, but from the back, I can see the light coming through. But it's this like tie dyed. I don't know if it's like intentionally cut off or somebody cut it off, but change. What is that? I don't know. It's an extra large organic cotton. Okay, I will do some of my own research to figure it out. My research pile can come back, but I guess that's a good thing compared to Lost Box. All right, Alice Blue. I feel like this was sold in St Stitch Fix or something like that. Just a floral blouse. So that, no, that's just the lighting. Floral blouse with a little pa patch pocket right there, which they actually did a pretty good job with the pocket, like kind of lining it up for the most part with the other print. Maybe not. <laughs> that will go to buy, sell, trade. We have some waffle knit. Please be free, people. Please be free, people. Where are you? Suspense. Okay, not free, people, but still good. This is Aster the label. So it's just like waffle knit long like tunic with a cow neck sleeveless cow neck high low hem huh interesting so aster the label is something that can be sold on revolve um so i will probably sell that myself we have another um strapless this one's super cute oh my gosh this is so cute I know it's just Zara, but this is so cute. Zara, extra small, this like little corset top. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. This I will sell myself. So that is the excitement that I'm looking for to like sell things myself. Um, it has this little label in it. I wonder if it like was taken to the dry cleaners or not. This I will sell. Um, if you didn't know, Zara also has their style information right here so it's like a few numbers dash a few numbers or slash I should say um and if you pull that up sometimes sometimes it brings up the correct item sometimes it doesn't so just be wary of that all right something that feels kind of linen-y Calvin Klein size six it's very like chartreuse little uh jacket let's see linen blend so it's 55% linen 40 what is that 45% something else I'm not excited to sell this I don't think that they probably will sell it at the buy sell trade store but I will give it a shot this feels very cashmere -y. Ooh, okay so this is a brand I actually like to purchase myself this is quince um it's very it's almost like an everlane where I feel like they use a lot of natural ingredients and they kind of cut out the middleman of, you know, store buying and stuff like that. But it's even cheaper than Everlane. Like they do comparisons of their prices. I actually just picked up these two beautiful like linen dresses. Gorgeous. I felt so like so comfortable in them and just look so pretty. Um, so it's a really great brand. These feel very cashmere. -y. So they are a jogger. A black jogger now let's see what are you 100% cashmere so I will definitely be keeping these myself to sell I wish they were my size because I'd be keeping them just myself in general all right we have some very like 90s looking uh, kind of midi floral dress doesn't have a brand on it but very floral very 90s looking kind of has these like mother of pearl buttons to kind of tie back the waist a little bit so that will be going straight to a buy sell trade store because i think i think that they would really like it not seeing any other content information 
seems very 90s-ish. All right, what is this? Activewear. Seems like it's a little bit older. Let me guess, is this Lululemon? Is it, is it? No, not seeing that it is down there. Maybe it's on the back here. This is really taking me for a ride. There we go. <laughs> okay, Lululemon right there. Um, so this seems like it's probably an older type of style tank, but it has this kind of like palm frond print with the contrasting um, bottom. Let's see if with tops like this, especially since it doesn't seem like the rip tag is intact. Let's look to the, um, in the bra area where you would put the padding, like interior of the bra. Uh, sometimes it has the size. Yeah, there we go. Size four. So what do I want to do with this? I feel like it could be a quick flip at the buy sell trade store but i'm gonna get more money if i sell it myself so i'm gonna sell it myself first all this is very arbitrary <laughs> things might change depending on how uh how busy i feel um what is this hall herber hall herber okay so the tag doesn't feel super nice but when it has european like different sizings on it, it makes me feel like it might be a little bit higher end, especially when it doesn't have a US size on it. But it is this like blazer, open front blazer. I'm seeing a lot of like seaming details, which also makes me feel like it's a little bit higher end. We have multiple pockets. I know nothing about this. Um, okay, so I'll look it up. It has a website to look up, so I will do that myself kind of doing a check-in because we're about halfway through um honestly we're kind of neck and neck with like things that i want to sell myself and things that i want to take to the buy sell trade store which to me seems pretty good i'm pretty happy with that so far things could change this other half um what is this okay it is a I, ISMSS. Have you ever heard of that before? Okay, here, let me put it up to the camera. If you could see that. It's this like purple, almost like tattered looking sweatshirt, but has this like really pretty detailing. What does it say though? Color? Oh, Colorado. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cool. I feel like this might be like an upcycled type of project. It could be wrong. We have this like ombre print sweatshirt of a brand I've never heard of before. Yeah, because it looks like they added their own tag because this probably was like a Gildan type of sweatshirt. They added their own tag on top of that and you can see that they like distressed the neck to it and have this really pretty ombre type of lettering to it so that is something I will sell myself or at least look it up what do we got very flowy blouse from bucket list again that kind of seems like a very um TJ Maxx ish <laughs> type of blouse but it is it does look very pretty my gosh that's gorgeous kind of like a um like a boat neck blouse we have this it's like micro print, uh, like micro abstract floral print with some gold or copper metallic weave. Let's see, size medium, interesting. Okay, so whenever they have tags like this, the kind of these like paper tags, it always makes me feel like it's a little bit cheaper. But it does say it's made in the USA. It has style number. I don't know. I don't know. That looks interesting. So I will do my research on it and I will get back to you. All right, we have something very fuzzy, very soft, fuzzy. Interesting, was not expecting this. I thought it'd be anthropology, but this is Forever 21. So we have this like wispy, what do they call this? Like the eyelet, not eyelet, eyelash something. 
So it, it is a mock neck sweater with these balloon sleeves. Almost feels like it looks like a rabbit or something. I don't know. That's gonna go to the buy sold trade store, but it is really pretty. We have something with a tag. Mambo tank, medium large, made in Israel. Interesting. So it looks like kind of like an activewear tank. What is the brand? Moving Comfort. Oh, it's a sample. Interesting. Okay. So it's like a little workout tank with all these different little black and white prints on it. Again, I will do research myself to see if that is anything. What do we have here? Blue Rain. This I know is sold like at boutique stores and stuff like that, like Francesca's. Size small, just kind of like faux leather with the um, knit inlays in it. I have no interest in selling that, so that will go to the buy sell trade store. So something very pink. This is Aviva, which is just Walmart, but then a very fun pink color, size small. That will go to the buy sell trade store. We have this very green sweatshirt that has So I'm like, it doesn't have any tags on it, but I looked at the zipper. That is Lululemon. This is uh, maybe a scuba hoodie. I don't know, but it's a very thick type of hoodie or not hoodie, um, zipper, quarter zip, something, half zip, something like that. Okay. It might look at, like it has some staining on it. The lights aren't really doing it too much justice. It looks like it's a larger size unless it's supposed to be oversized. Let's look in the pockets. There we go. It's a medium large. And it has the style number. So I can look it up. Um, and for the style numbers, because it's it's like goes all the way around, it's really hard. Um, the style number starts with either an M or a W, and that will be like women's or men's. And then it's usually five letters or numbers after that. And that will be the style number. This is something, oh my gosh, can I wear this? This looks very oversized, but regardless, I'm gonna put it in my pile to keep. That is very exciting. Two Lululemon pieces. I love it. What is this? Okay, Calvin Klein. Got this very like Sherpa type of jacket. This looks like, I don't, hard to show but it's actually kind of pretty this like wool like jacket with faux fur on it Calvin Klein size extra large so that is what the black pieces look like that might be something that I consider keeping or selling myself especially since we're out of the, like the buy sell trade area when they're getting um like winter clothes and stuff like that. All right, this is Fate, which if I'm not mistaken is like a Revolve brand or shop bought brand, something like that. It's a size small, looks to be like a micro faux suede, little sh uh, sheath dress, a little bit of fit and flare there. Let's see, I highly doubt this is suede. polyester spandex this I will do research on okay we are getting down to we're about two-thirds of the way done this feels velvety this looks beautiful what is this what Petun Pet I don't know how to pronounce that I don't is it a P? Is it a Latum B? Size small. I feel like it's an anthropology brand, but look how look how beautiful this is. I don't know how it goes. But we have it's like a cutout dress. Okay. With velvet puff sleeves. 
like a midi skirt. This is beautiful. Gosh, okay, let's see if we can find more information. Oh, 100% a uh, anthropology fan. It has the R number 66170, which technically could be anthropology, could be free people, could be urban outfitters. They're all owned by the same company, but this seems like a very anthropology type of type of brand. That's gorgeous. That's going in my pile. My pile is getting very big. All right, let's see. Oh, my tummy is rumbling. I'm hungry. We have Power Hold by Fabletics. I don't really sell Fabletics anymore. Although I did just pick up a new with tag bra from Plato's Closet, but Plato's Closet loves Fabletics, so I am going to give it to them. Unless, what size are you? What What is with all these companies not putting sizes readily available? I don't know what size it is. Buy, sell, trade store. Okay, this looks like a cute little springtime dress. Very lattice-like. I don't know what the brand is yet. Let me know how it goes. Okay, I feel like that's a side zipper. Okay, all right. We're getting there. Here we go. So this is what it looks like. Kind of this very like 70s type of dress, very mini type of dress with this lattice back. I'm not even, not even showing you the lattice back. Sorry, I was too concerned with trying to find a brand. It is some sort of uh anthropology free people or urban outfitters because it also has a 6617 i feel like this is very this is probably more free people or uh urban outfitters is my guess but again i will add it to my pile to do more research what is this <laughs> okay so not necessarily the brand but i'm pretty sure it's real leather so this is banana republic and this is a leather moto jacket. Oh my gosh, that's stunning. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So it does come from holiday 2006, but to be honest, leather is pretty classic all the time. Um, it is leather, 100% leather. That is beautiful. All right, that I will for sure be keeping to sell myself. I'm not seeing any obvious flaws. And again, I can't tell if it's black. I think it's black. It might be navy. It's really hard to tell in this lighting, but okay. We'll take that. It is like a khaki uh, dress. It's a very oversized dress. Let's see. Kind of this like wagon looky type of dress, you know, kind of very minimalistic, shapeless, um, oversized look, but let's see. What information do you have for us? Please don't be cut out. Please don't be cut out. Okay. So it is, it's all in like a, an Asian language. So I don't know. So that probably is maybe like a, uh, Amazon purchase or something like that. So I will send this to the Bite Store, even though it's really cute. All right, so we have a very teeny tiny little uh, bustier top. This is Aerie. So part of American Eagle. That I will take to the Bite Trade Store. It almost looks like it would pair with, like, maybe if they had a matching skirt or something like that. Another dress, very red dress. Trying to see, it's, it's like asymmetrical. So one side has a longer sleeve and it's more on the shoulder and the other one's off the shoulder. Size 
sleeve is cut out. Oh my gosh, I hate when this happens. Okay, so the size is cut out. I'm not seeing any sort of brand information. I mean, it does look like there is a style number and a SKU number, but you're basically going to have to look up red dress, you know, and like describe it and then put in the style number. What do I want to do with this? I don't care to put that much research into it, so, because I just don't think it's going to be that great of quality, so I'm going to put that in the buy slip trade. We have a little crochet number. Almost looks like a cover up of some sort. Um, not seeing any information. Oh, wait, here we go. This is, oh, I feel like I know. I know the tag. I've definitely seen a tag before. Is this H and M? I feel like this might be an H and M tag. H and M. Yep. All right. So I'm going to send that to my self trade store. This feels very lofty. Exactly what it is. Another loft. This is a pencil skirt size four. This is the loft outlet actually. It actually specifically says it on there. This is kind of like pretty textured, almost like carpet bag looking skirt and texture too. All right, that. Why am I gonna do that? I might they may take that. They may. I'm gonna hold my breath though. Alright, we're coming coming down to the end. Hold on. I'm seeing these. I think these go with that dicky. The Veronica Beard dicky? I could be wrong. Yeah, it's like adding it the like adding the little cuffs to the sleeve. Okay. So we will keep those off to the side. Sorry, I just like caught my attention. I'm like, why are there just random sleeves in here? Um this is a Mystere. Probably like a Ross brand, but cute little like boho patchwork lattice type of dress. I feel like the buy sell trade stores may like that. All right, something stretchy and something looks reversible. Sweet. So I'll just show you this first. It's, it's like green dress, blue flowers, and polka dots. And it's kind of that like meshy, meshy material. Is this reversible? Oh, it looks reversible. Potentially reversible, but it has no content information. Okay. Uh, again, I don't think this is. Uh, I don't think this is like super high quality to put tons of research in. Uh, but what do I want to do? I probably will just take it to the buy sell trade store. And if they don't take it, then maybe I'll put some more effort into it. All right, so we have this Vince, Vince, Vince Camuto, like utilitarian army jacket with lots of studs on it, on the hood. That's really nice. Let's see, size medium. Hmm. What do I want to do with this? This I might sell myself. I like I like those kind of studded details. Yeah, just double checking that it was a missing one. All right, what is this? Liz Claiborne, more vintage Liz Claiborne. Probably a linen or linen like. Um, almost like this little jacket, cream jacket. That will go to buy sold trade store. Uh, too many pieces left. Let me guess. Is this Lularo? It feels like Lularo. What is this? What is this? Avenue body size 30, 32. And it is this like winter. Um, oh, it's a onesie. Oh, I see. Okay. 
it's this winter onesie with all this like a uh, reindeer and Christmas trees and stuff like that. I doubt the Bicel Trade Store will take that because it is like a holiday theme. But we'll try it out. There's this tail tech. Never heard of that before. It looks to be like a little um tennis skirt. Can't tell if that's like some staining on the front. Um, all of the information is kind of worn off. It might be like a size small, I can't really tell, but that's gonna go to the buy sell trade store. Zara looks like kids because it's a size, excuse me, 13, 14. They are just these like cargo jogger sweatpants. probably will go to the buy sell trade store again with it being a kids item sometimes they take kids items sometimes they don't Lauren by Ralph Lauren okay so we have green label size four petite just basic looks like straight leg dark denim um I could get some money off of this but again a petite is a hard sell for me so I will try buy sell trade store first see what happens we have this almost looks like a kimono or a robe what do we have here pro pro design so i don't really think it's probably much of anything but it is a really pretty kind of floral robe kimono Let's see if the buy sold trade store would like that I feel like that would be a Buffalo Exchange's alley. All right. So first off, we have another little strap, so we will save that because that went to, oops, oh, that went to one of the White House Black Market tops. What's this? Little navy, size medium, but very cute, like little polka dot cross back knitty dress it's really cute okay that will go to a buy sell trade store a few more items left we have rachel zoe um this is just like tj maxx marshall's kind of stuff yeah size large but they're cute like little skirt is it a skirt or squirt it was like a squirt it's a squirt fun all right, so that will go to buy, sell, trade store. All right, last two items. I don't know if either one of them are super promising. Time and true. So just Walmart, size small, but that's a cute like little ribbed lightweight um, top. All right, last item <laughs> with tags for $14.99. So this is DKNY jeans, just kind of like open knit surplus little sweater. So that is it. That's all I have. All right. So I would say my pile to go to the buy sell trade store probably outweighs the pile of stuff that I'm going to be keeping or at least researching at this moment. But this is so much different than the other. Uh, the other video. I think I only kept like a handful of things compared to a whole desk pile. I mean, it's like up to here. Um, I have stuff to keep to research, to resell myself. So it's very exciting. Um, but I will put right here how many items I got in this box and then how much each item uh, per item cost right here so you have an understanding um so thank you so much for watching i truly appreciate it the best gift you can give any youtuber is watching their content all the way through engaging with subscribing liking commenting what was your favorite find from this um from this particular box i do have to say that veronica beard thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna have to do more research and see see what it is because that's definitely my favorite brand that i found uh for today those two lululemon pieces great um, but yeah, that was my favorite. Let me know what your favorite was down below and I will see you in my next video.
Bye.